Good day everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing the board game Battleship Torpedo Attack. This game came out in 2007 from Milton Bradley and it is for two players. Now the object of Battleship Torpedo Attack is you are going to try to locate your opponent's ships and then you are going to try to shoot them out of the water for points. This plays a lot like Battleship but there's just a couple of little differences which I'm going to show you right now. Okay everybody, let's go ahead and go over all of the components. On both sides of the board, you're going to have a torpedo launcher, and you're also going to have a battleship playfield. Uh, on this part, you're going to be placing your ships, which your opponent is going to try to locate. And on this part, you're going to be using this to try to locate your opponent's ships. Uh, there's also a little trigger over here, and you're going to be placing three of these little torpedo balls in your little gun over there. And um, you're going to be using that to shoot at your opponent's ships, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. Right here, uh, you'll have little compartments where you'll be able to place some white pegs and there's some red pegs over here on this side and then we have a ball return now there's also a periscope that is right over here and it is going to be looking underneath this board and anytime you're going to be trying to shoot the ships out of the water you're going to be looking for these little tips over here now in the game there are five different ships and each of them have different amount of holes here which are going to represent how many times you need to quote unquote locate the ship before you can try to shoot it. Uh, right here you have your carrier, you've got your battleship, you've got your cruiser, you've got your submarine, and then you've got your destroyer. Now these little ships you're going to be placing on the bottom part of your torpedo launcher, and then these ships you're going to be placing on this board once the ships get located. Now in the very beginning you're going to go ahead and take these little ships and you're going to go ahead and place them here on your grid board. and. Uh, on the vertical side it has the letters A through J and then on the horizontal side it has the numbers 1 through 10 and these are going to be the coordinates. So I'll go ahead and just uh, place five ships on here. Okay so now I have the ships over there now. Uh, on your side you're going to be giving some red pegs and you're also going to be giving some white pegs. Uh, the white pegs are going to represent any time you miss a shot and these are going to represent if location shots which I'll talk about. So the, basically the way it works is you're going to be using this top grid to try to locate your enemy ships and you're going to basically be keeping an eye on these ships whenever your opponent calls out coordinates and you'll be able to tell him whether or not he has a hit or miss. Now in typical battleship you're going to say hit or miss. In this game you're either going to say open water located or ship located. So let's say uh, it's your opponent's turn and he calls out A2. So I'm going to look and A2 is right over here. There's nothing there. So I'm going to go ahead and say open water. So then my opponent is going to go ahead and place a peg um, on the top part of his board. Uh, let's just say I happen to say H2. My opponent looked and it said open water. I would go ahead and put a peg right over here to represent uh, that there is open water over there. So I'm not going to have to worry about it anymore. Now let's say my opponent calls out B3. B3 is right over here and uh, I have a ship over here. So I'm going to go ahead and say target located and uh, I'm going to go ahead and place a red peg of, over here just to, to show that my opponent located the ship in that area. Uh, similarly, if I go ahead and I called out something, let's say I called out G6 or something and my opponent had a ship on there and he said target located, I would go ahead and place a red peg over here on G6 and then I'm going to go ahead and try to find the rest of it. Now let's say my opponent calls out C3 and he has located the rest of the ship and I'll go ahead and place one over there. In this case I will say ship located. Now once your opponent has gone ahead and located a ship he's going to go ahead and take the ship and place it according to the instructions on his side of the board. Uh, it's a little bit confusing because I would imagine that if this was his side of the board he would be putting it in this area but the gun won't reach out that far so I'm assuming that it means this the other side. Uh, now I'm going to be placing the ship here on the last location that I called out. So let's say I called out H6 or something like that. So what I'm going to do is there's a little grid over here and I'm going to be looking for H6. So H is over here and then the number 6 is over here. So the ship is going to be placed right right here. Now what's going to happen is the person is going to try to go ahead and shoot this ship off of the board and he's going to have three shots to do it. Now depending on when he shoots the ship out, if he shoots it out on his first turn he's going to score more points, second he'll get less, and third he'll get less. And obviously if he doesn't end up shooting it off the board he's not going to get any points and the ship is going to be safe uh, from any further attack. Now this is a little shot of looking inside the periscope. I just kind of figured I'd show you this. You're actually looking underneath the grid board with this, so you'll be able to move it around. You'll be able to see the bottom. Now what you're going to be looking for when you're shooting the big ships is the tip. 
Um, and let me just go ahead and put a ship in here just so you can give you an example. Uh, right there you'll see the tip. And I also note that there's a couple of uh, sights here. Uh, you'll see one in here and then a black one. Uh, the way you're going to be actually trying to aim is going to be trying to line both those sights up and then you're going to try to go ahead and shoot the tip uh, after you get them lined up. And it just takes a little bit of uh, looking around in order to be able to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can shoot the ship off the board here. I'll place this in here. Look in the torpedo. I missed. There it goes. Got it. So uh, I got it on the second shot. So I'll go ahead and score the second shot points for this ship. Now there are two different grids on the game board that you're going to be using, and each player has one. The one that's on the top is a slide rule that goes all the way up to a thousand points, and uh, you're simply going to be moving your slider up to that amount of points once you are able to calculate how many points you got for shooting a particular ship. Now on the bottom you'll note that all five ships are there, and there are three numbers on each ship. The number on the left represents the points that you'll get if you're able to shoot the ship on the first shot, which will be the highest. Um, the second one will be the number in the middle, and the third shot, if you get on that, will be the number on the left. Now the object of the game is you're going to try to be the first person to reach 1,000 points. If nobody reaches 1,000 points, then whoever has the highest score is going to end up winning. And if there is a tie, you will simply have a sudden death shootout. And that, folks, is Battleship Torpedo Attack. So my final thoughts on Battleship Torpedo Attack. Well, well, this is a game that I recently found at a thrift store that had everything except one of the little scoring pegs, and I was able to replace that rather easily. Um, I've seen this game uh, many times in my years of thrifting, and I've never been able to find a copy that was even close to complete until just a few days ago. So I'm glad that I was able to finally find a complete copy. Um, now, if you like Battleship, I have no doubt that you're going to like this game uh, simply because at the base, this is Battleship. It plays just like Battleship uh, with just with the exception of the extra components and then uh, scoring points instead of sinking the ships. Uh, so if you actually have Battleship, you don't really have to have this game unless you would like to have it because it has really cool components. Uh, I like the periscope. Uh, very cool that you're able to look under the board and try to find uh, those little pegs to try to shoot the ship out. And I like the way the ship shoots out too. There have been times when we would shoot the ship and it would go off of the table because we had such a good shot on it. Uh, now, the periscope can be a little bit tricky sometimes. There have been times when I thought I would actually have a perfect shot and it ended up grazing it as opposed to hitting it. So, it takes a little bit of adjusting, I think. But, you know, that's fine because if it, I don't want the game to be that easy to where you can just get a direct hit every single time. Pretty cheap game. I think you can probably get a copy for about $15, $20 or so on eBay. Uh, there are a lot of parts of this game, and they can probably get lost pretty easily because they're so small. So you just got to gotta be aware of that. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, I think if you like Battleship, you'll like this game. Uh, if you enjoy, like, physical games or actually trying to shoot things, uh, the game looks nice. I like the way it uses the bottom of the box to uh, create the C on the very bottom. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, pretty cool game. So, guys, that's my review of Battleship Torpedo Attack. We'll see you later. Keep on game.